Naval Sea Cadet Corps Desert Eagle Squadron under the command of Lieutenant J.G. David Crypton, USCC, will now enter the field for the honor of the POW MIA patrol. They will be assisted by the sailors of NAFL Central. As you entered this evening, you may have noticed a small table in a place of honor near the podium. The military cast is filled with symbolism. This table is our way of symbolizing the fact that members of our profession are missing from the midst. They are commonly called POW or MIA. We call them brothers. They aren't able to be with us this evening, so we remember them because of their incarceration. The table. This table, set for one, is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner against his oppressors. Remember. Tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to the country's call to arms.
remember. The single rose. The single rose displayed in a vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who kept the faith awaiting their return. Remember. The red ribbon, tied so prominently on the vase, is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn upon the lapel and breast of thousands who bear witness to the unyielding determination to demand proper accounting of ours missing. Remember. A slice of lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their bitter fate. Remember, there is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they wait. Remember. The glass. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us tonight. Remember. The chair. The chair is empty. They are not here. Remember. And salute. Ready? Two. This time I ask all my brothers and sisters who are serving and who have served to stand up and salute this table. Thank you. Tonight we are honored to have the Imperial Valley Living History Association Battery Unit with us to participate in our military salute. Please join me in welcoming former Assemblyman Robert Hayes, who will give a brief history of Veterans Day. In 1917, when the Americans 